Hi, this is our final project for EC444, which is smoothie dispenser. I'm Chen Yu Chen. I'm Hai Rosen. Smoothie dispenser is a system that consumers or clerk to remotely drop the food to a vehicle and deliver the food. Our main focus is on a remote food drop system. We use several sensors to detect whether the vehicle is in the drop zone, whether the smoothie is dropped in the container. We use servo to drop the smoothie and a webcam to live stream all the processes. And these are the technical details we used in uh, this project. And the challenges we face is to figure out the overall function of our own idea and make actuator device for a food drop system, display web camera, video, and graphs on the same HTML page, and avoid bad contact for LiDAR sensor. This is our design solution. We have two ESP32. One is to drop food, and it has servo and LiDAR and alphanumeric display to determine whether the food container is nearby. The food container is the other ESP32. It has thermistor and accelerometer on it to determine the food temperature and if the container is being moved or being still. And we send the, the data through UDP uh, to the Node.js and to the HTML file to, to display the thermistor and the uh, temperature value. We also have a camera on it. And once you press the food drop button and the HTML page, the server will drop the food into the container. To summarize, we have three sensors, two actuators, an RPI camera, a remote control to dispense the food, and uh, four time-based function processes, and two participants in ESP32. This is our demo video. So now we move the uh, container into the drop zone. As you can see, the LiDAR sensor is uh, at 11 centimeters and nine right now. So basically the thing is already in the drop zone and you can see in the camera as well. And now you can see that the uh, accelerometer did a kind of like smooth out and you press drop and the food is dropped into the container. And you can also see in the camera that the uh, food is in the container. And uh, now you can also move the food away basically. And there's in the process to look at the temperature, which we will see later in the close up look. So we're gonna show the close up look right now. And you can see uh, the container is moving to the drop zone. And, um, and then we see the smoothing out of the accelerometer data and we drop the food. And then you can see the uh, food is dropped into the container. And you can see the temperature data start to decrease uh, slowly. Thank you. Mm -hmm.